Hi guys, I just wanted to make a very quick video to show you some of the techniques and thought processes I use on some of these white on black drawings I'm doing. First of all, as a professional artist, I can't stress enough how important it is to use your own material. It's very easy to look out on the internet and find pictures of animals. If they don't belong to you, they're not your copyright. So I do go to Africa and different countries to get my material. And this, again, is so important to me because I've seen the animal up close. I've got used to that animal, I've looked at it and I've studied it. And that helps, in the long term, create a better drawing. Before the start of any drawing, preparation is key. You need to know what pencils you're going to use and paperwork best for that drawing. In this particular one, I'm using pencils by Karan Dash, and the paper is Daily Roni Canford. It's a black card, so it's good and thick, and it takes the pencil really well. So without mentioning the obvious, of course, you need to make sure your pencil is sharp. It's the tool you're going to use. It's the most important part. So here I am getting really stuck in, working on my chin on this particular one. It's so important to remember that with animals, and using fur especially, is that everything must be kept soft. No hard lines. Do not create hard lines. Hard lines make the drawing look stiff and unrealistic. You want to feel that you can push your hands and your fingers into that fur. It's the greatest compliment anyone can give me on my drawings, is saying that my fur looks soft. If I say this, I know I've achieved exactly what I set out to do. I genuinely love working in black and white, without the fuss and complication of colour. But when you've only got a white pencil as your tool, you have to make sure you keep everything soft, punchy, but above all, contrasty. It's those lovely whites that make the picture stand out, and like I'm doing here on the chin, trying to create that lovely effect of light catching the tip of the chin and throwing that part of the uh, drawing further forward than the rest of it. Here's the process, just speed it up so you can see it a little quicker. It's so important when you're drawing fur to keep your pencil moving in the direction that that fur is going. But as I've said before, no hard lines. Keep fur looking soft. You want the people who view your picture to feel that they can literally run their fingers through that fur. It's important to not put too much detail in. We don't want to be drawing every single hair. It would take forever, and I don't think it's necessary. All we need to do is just suggest. And that's what I love about these white on black drawings, is that not everything is there. It's leaving some mystery. I want this cat to feel like it is coming out of the dark. So I don't want to put every single piece of detail in there. I want the viewer to feel it themselves. As I'm coming to the end of the drawing, I'm just going over some of the areas I felt were a little bit too sharp, especially this beautiful tear line that goes down the side of the cheetah's face, just dabbing on the edges there to take away any sharpness. So just putting the final touches to the drawing now. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I haven't waffled too much, but at the end of the day, drawing must be fun, and that's why we all do it. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching.